Peter Shilton looks on. That's a better ball. Scott Lineker in behind his marker. Hey, Shiri. Not a bad try, too. And it surprised the goalkeeper. He was happy to palm it over the top. Again, Gascoigne to take the corner. Barnes on the near edge of the six-yard area. Butcher level with the near post. Not enough height on the corner. Hodge invites Gascoigne to try to do better. Which he has. That's a nice weight on that. Good save. Waddle with the free kick. Now leaves it to Gascoigne. When you're here. Walker. Mistake by Gascoigne that was intended for Stevens. That's a great try! And it's a brilliant goal by Hergal! Gascoigne turns away, his hands on his hips, as there is total jubilation in what they call the Olympic Stadium here in Elementa. What a piece of enterprise, though, after the error by the first player. First time effort over the head of a goalkeeper who was advancing because England were in possession and Peter Shilton turns to find that Tunisia has scored spectacular stuff you fancy a left foot strike here the question is from which of the two Looks like Pierce. Gascoigne feels that the referee hasn't got everybody back. But Pierce will take it and hit the woodwork. Post and crossbar are quite big, we noted, walking around the ground. And that certainly hit with quite a thump. Quickly taken. And Waddle couldn't make it. Oh. And Ben Neji will be disappointed he didn't get that on target. Pierce has gone up on the far side. Wright joins him. Inside them are Barnes and Lineker. His Barnes! Lineker couldn't get to it. It's a very good clearance by Mahabdabi. And the foul followed. Guess going again. Robson! <laughs> Goalkeeper made it look very easy. So a minute plus stoppage time remaining. Gascoigne. England pushing out. Flat diagonally forward of Gascoigne. Barnes on the left side. Oh dear, in the end it's not a very good ball, but was made one by a poor defending defensive work, and the equaliser comes, and it's that man ball again. And Gascoigne turns to the bench in triumph. Barnes was able to make use of some really poor defending, it has to be said, but it was a good cross, and Stevie Ball saves England's face as we reach the last seconds of the match. Well, Kaz is certainly the most relieved man among the England squad. Well aware of the error which put them behind and which gave them so much trouble for so long. Oh! That was Majubi again. We played two minutes of injury time and that, says the referee, is enough. It ends at 1-1. Which will make it slightly more acceptable, but, but which, to tell the truth, does not really change the performance. And it has to be said, until the earlier substitutions of uh, bringing on Wright and Beardsley, England in no way had played well, save for a five-minute spell in the first half. But the final score here in Tunis is 1-1.